Good afternoon, friends. How's everybody doing on this Thursday? Um, I don't know what the date is, but you probably figure it out yourself. <laughs> I don't tend to keep track of the dates anymore. Um, some are uh, more important than others, though. Some dates you do got to keep, like anniversaries, <laughs> birthdays, stuff like that. Um, first off, I just want to say God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Um, I just want to get on here real quick before I go uh, get these gains a little bit that I can before I go on my uh, uh, weekend that I've uh, been waiting for. Um, this weekend, I uh, I don't want to say too much about it, but um, I'm going away from Thursday tonight. <laughs> Um, until Sunday and I need this tremendously I need this so badly um, here lately I know that I've been attacked by the enemy and I've been trying to deal with it my own way and uh, I got through it without going back to the world without going back to alcohol without s subduing I don't even know that's the word but I'm gonna use it uh, suppressing we'll go with that suppressing my moods with drugs or alcohol or sex or anything that I used to run to when I was having problems in my life um, some people run to their friends I kept running to the Lord but I just didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't fall back into my old ways at all. Um, I know what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, but we need to go to the right sources in order to get through our situations. If not, we're just gonna repeat the same, um, same things over and over and over again to try to get trouble out. To try to get that feeling that we can only get through Jesus Christ. Um, throughout this past little while before my son, he went back to college today. I'm super proud of him. I've been really emotional. Um, like I know when I get there, I know I'm going to break down. I know I am. Um, I could probably break down right now to be completely honest with you. Um, there's something inside of me that needs to come out. Um, today I got reminded of a past hurt that I had as a kid. And I really need to just get a lot of things off of my mind. Um, and lay it at the Lord's feet. Um, I can't wait. But anyways, my son went to, back to college today. I'm super proud of him. He made it safely. I'm excited to see he's actually on his own now. He's in his own little room or house type thing, him and some friends. So he's 19 now. He's doing his thing. I'm so proud of him. And I know he's going to do great things and he's going to be persistent. And just watching him grow is... Sorry guys, I'm trying to hold it together to be honest with you. Um, watching him grow has just been amazing. Watching all my kids grow, granted I, I don't get to really see Samantha that much, but I know that the Lord's got his hand on her. Um, but watching my kids grow, and my daughter's driving now, she's, you know, she had a job, and just me being there for them now, and just trying to do the best that I can to help them, to mentor them now, um, the best that I can it's just amazing I took my son with me to do a little small job and uh, I had my tractor we pulled it over there uh, we did a little cleanup job for one of my old school friends well my school mates we'll put it that way um, I don't think I was the cool enough cool kid at the time way back in the day um, you had that upper class the medium class and the lower class I think I was just that well, you know. <laughs> um, I didn't consider myself the higher class at all. Um, but 
don't put yourself in any of them classes, friends. If you're a kid and you're watching this, or if you have kids and they just happen to watch this, don't let that type of, oh, I need to be in high class to be somebody or be in the low class, or if I'm not this good at something, then I'm never going to be anything. Don't think that at all because there's some high class people that was in high, higher class in school that are not really doing very good in life now. So don't, don't give up, be persistent, and quit judging yourself upon other people. God made you for a reason. He made you on purpose for a purpose. So who cares what they think? Kids are mean. Kids are rude. Kids are kids, but all this shall pass. And just we need to start focusing on the Lord and what he would have us to do and how to raise our kids. But anyways, back to my little story with my son. Um, we went out to do a little uh, work, a little yard work. Um, I got a little side job. I was blessed to have you know I'm not a big fan of Facebook at all anymore um, I do have a funny feeling and I know this for a fact that my Facebook time is going to be very limited I'm not going to get on and scroll through people's feeds although this one popped up on somebody's feed looking for help and it actually did help me earn a little bit of extra money and I gave my son some money to help and just to give gave him um experience and just out there and I mean he's been working while he was back here so you know him experience in the world and just my kids stepping out doing their things I'm really excited and I just want to keep being there for them as much as I can to teach them you know he's got himself a little system in his car now you know I taught him how to put it in he did a lot of work himself you know friends we got to teach our kids the right way to do things for one and then don't do it for them help them so that way when they get older they can teach their kids or they can teach a friend or they can make some money doing what you taught them you know let's let's be diligent on trying to help our kids and being the best role models that we can and anyways we were doing our little job and I was wrapping it up and you know just trying to level everything out and here's my son over there critiquing my work I was like but this dude's over there like leveling the stuff that I thought that I had leveled. I was just like, yeah, this is definitely my kid, you know. Granted, the fact that everybody keeps saying that he looks exactly like me and, you know, so, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> I'm glad, but I'm just glad that I'm a better person now that I can hold my head, or he can hold his head high and be like, yeah, that's my dad instead of, oh, yeah, that's my dad, you know, because if we can have a great reputation or we can have a terrible reputation in this world and it affects our kids so we just got to continue to do the best that we can but you people that are just out there and just going to the bars every weekend or night or just doing whatever you do that is of the world you know you wonder why your kids are dysfunctional <laughs> you wonder why the lord won't bless you with any kids you know you're doing stupid every day and he's like you know you don't deserve this you don't you know I don't want to get into that right now, to be honest with you. I'm just on here to express why I'm going this weekend, but the impact of the that we're going to have on these kids. But anyways, uh, we, we did a great job. She recommended me to some of her friends, and I'm really excited that I could help her out and just do the utmost ability. Um, the Lord says when we do it, just do it to the glory of Him when we do anything. So I want to do the best that I can. And, you know, it's the Lord that gave me these skills. It's the Lord that's blessed me with this little tractor. It's the Lord that's blessed me with numerous amounts of things that some of us just think, oh, I worked for it. I, I did it myself. No, I, I mean, the Lord has blessed me with the job. The Lord has blessed me with so many things that I could easily take for granted and say that I did it, but I did not. I did not. I mean, granted, I took the step, but I listened to him. I listened to my Father in heaven, you know. Um, so... I just like that my son was critiquing my work. He's he's going to do great in everything that he does. And I'm so happy. I really am. Uh, overwhelmed with happiness and, and worry. And it's just uh, anxiety. It's just a whole bunch of emotions that I'm in right now. And I know the Lord is going to speak to me this weekend. Um, I've been having just some issues that I need to get resolved. I need to. And... It's only through the Lord that this can be resolved. It's not through a friend. It's not through a counselor. It's not through a, a psychiatrist. It's not through a parent. 
It's not through a boyfriend or girlfriend. It's not through anything. None of those things can help me. It's only the Lord. And none of those things can help you guys. I mean, granted, they might help temporarily, but we're overlooking the Lord and his power. It's, he's, he's amazing. He really is. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited of what my son's going to do. And my daughter's the last year of school. She got a little discouraged and I just told her, this is your last year, sweetheart. This too shall pass. You know, we're going to get over this hurdle. The enemy's trying to throw everything at you to give you, get you to give up. And I don't want her to give up. And I know she won't. She's a fighter. She's a parent. And so, well, for now, until she meets her future husband. Um, she's a great girl. She's very independent. Um, I would say that she gets that from her mother, but, uh, you know, I... I think that the work ethic was in both sides, so I think that she's good to go with that. Um, she just tries to do too much sometimes, and I, I, she just needs to slow down, take her last year of school seriously. I mean, she is, but um, just I know that the Lord's got good things in store for her. I just don't want her to get overwhelmed and worried about things and worried about the job because the job will come. The Lord will provide. That's one thing he will do. We just need to trust and have faith and get through that last year, sweetheart. Yes, I am going to tag you in this, just in case you know, maybe your friends might need to hear my words. Uh, by the way, I'm her father, just in case. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm just really excited about this weekend. Um, I'll have no contact with the outside world, um, which is such a blessing. <laughs> such a blessing. Um, Am I nervous? Yes. Uh, I have a fear of failure. I have a fear of uh, just uh, trying new things and not succeeding. So, um, all of which I plan to lay at the Lord's feet. Um, I know He's going to come through for me. I'm going in there with a willing heart, an open heart, and an open mind and an open spirit because I am. I need this. I need this so badly. And you know, it was a couple years ago that I was stressing super, super bad about my job. I'm just so overwhelmed about all the blessings the Lord has given me that I could easily take for granted, friends. I could easily take for granted and just be like, I did this, but I didn't do this. I can't stress this enough, man. Keep praying, keep seeking the Lord and he will provide. Be patient, I know it's hard. It was so hard for me to not want to give up on my old job, to keep being sober throughout them times that I was just being treated unfairly. And granted, not by my boss or anything like that. It was by a coworker. And the Lord just kept telling me to stick in there, hang in there. I got plans for you. And he did. And he does. Um, I'm so blessed where I'm at right now. I don't take that job for granted. It can go at any time. This this, this society, these times that we live in are crazy right now. We got stuff going on overseas. We got people losing houses. We got weather. I mean, weather's weather, but I really feel like the Lord's angry with a lot of people. Um, it changes one by one, friends, and we need to start to change. Our fear for the next generation like I've said many times these kids need to not see this stuff <sighs> sorry um, we just need to be better mentors I was telling my son a little story last night you know and it just kind of came out I told him that my next tattoo when I get my six pack on my stomach um, or at least my excess skin gone, so to speak. Um, I want to uh, finish. I got Jesus, um, the praying hands, and the cross. I want the Last Supper on my stomach, all in black and white. And I was telling him that's what I want. And I want Jesus, his robe in red, and maybe his cup, you know, in a different color. And I want Jesus to shine through all of this. Everything on me, the only thing that's color is the one of the things that represent Jesus. So, which basically my whole right arm represents the Bible and Jesus and what he's done for me. So, but anyways, I was like, I want 
hopefully it'll land with Judas Judas the one that betrayed Jesus over here by my over here on my left hand side um, cuz you know loyalty over betrayal and uh, Judas betrayed Jesus and that's how he crucified so I was telling Caden the story and he was like what that's how they got Judas and Jesus ah oh. so he was listening to a music a rap song and he was like oh so that's how it came about friends our kids don't know not to put Caden on blast or anything but I never you know took him or I never explained anything to him and I never you know we need to we need to teach our kids these these things about the Bible it's it's why this world is going to hell <laughs> I'm gonna just put it that way it's they don't there's no guidelines there's no there's no upbringing of the Bible anymore you know we're we're not involved in church we're not involving our kids in church we're not f even taking a step out there to find a good church you know there's a lot of good churches out there I attend I could attend a lot of different ones but I just got one that I kind of go to right now granted I don't know where the Lord is gonna take me after I get out I don't know I'm open I'm open for whatever he tells me to do I'm not gonna listen to what anybody else tells me to do or what I need to do or I have to do or some prophet granted they probably got great word from the Lord but I I kind of want to hear it from him, you know, um, and I need to go with an open heart. I need to go with an open spirit and an open mind and an open, my eyes open. I can't walk around blind my whole life and, you know, expect to see what it is that he has for me. You know, I have to position myself to hear him. And I said this before, we have to position ourselves. We can't just go to the bars and stuff like that and expect to hear from the Lord. We can't be partying at our houses, you know, and doing stuff that's not of the Lord and expect to be blessed. Um, you're playing with fire is what you're doing um, and you're inevitably going to get burned um, but yeah I was I was, I was, was like you know that's so crazy because these kids they don't know anything about the Bible and I feel a real tug on my heart um, I probably won't apply for my house until um, next December uh, January-ish that will give me five years after my bankruptcy with no missed payments and no late payments and my credit should be look i was about to say that word that i don't even like my credit should be right on par right where it needs to be um it's almost there right now but i just i feel like that's the time that i need to do it but in the meantime i feel this tugging in my heart to turn my property into an atv track um to make trails not only for me but for some kids you know i'm i know a few kids, as a matter of fact, um, that have ATVs, they have dirt bikes, and they have absolutely nowhere to ride. Um, if I could help them out in any way and then also do a little Bible study with them while they're out there and just, you know, cook for them because I love to cook. And, you know, get the parents out there and maybe just start the Bible study there and just start there. You know, start little things like that. I just got a bunch, a bunch of literature. All them papers right there is just full of Bible stuff. Um, the New Testament, the Old Testament, I just got this, uh, the Bible study. I'm going to start digging in so hard because the enemy keeps telling me that I don't know much about the Bible. So what do we got to do when the enemy... Well, when anybody tells me something like that, then uh, I try to prove them wrong. I've always been that type, a little contestant about, oh, you say I can't do it? Oh, but I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it good. So it's just when I get in my own mind and think that I can't do it, that's, you know. But I know I can do this. I don't have Philippians 4.13 on me for no reason. And I put it big, and I put it bold, and I put it right there, you know. It's upside down, but you get it. You get what I'm saying. It's big and it's noticeable and there's no flipping way that I can just wear this and not and not live by it. Because I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And this will, in fact, make me stronger. And not only that, it'll make other people stronger. And I just have a real tug on my heart for the next generation. Not only that, some of these parents out there, um, they're trying their best. We are. We're all trying our best. But we need more. <laughs>
We need Jesus in our lives. Um, some of us got him, but just, you know, use him when we need him and stuff like that. Like we're not base, we're not basing everything around. We're not having our kid. We're not praying in front of our kids. We're not taking time out to say, hey, let's go to church. No, your video game needs to stop. No, we need to do this. We have to do this. You know, if it wasn't for me being, you know, dragged to church or just in a church environment, you know, even when I went to juvenile facility, I was in a church setting, you know, the Lord was tugging on me my entire life. And it took me 37 years to realize enough's enough. Just imagine if you could do it when you're 12. Just imagine if you can do it when you're 21. Just imagine if you can do it when they're two. If they watch you guys pray, if they watch you guys not drink, I mean, I'm not saying drinking's bad, but it's, it's just not for me, I guess, anymore. And y'all already know I used to be it. I used to be that guy. Um, the whole marijuana thing, friends, it's becoming legal in a lot of places. It helps. It does help. But when people become dependent upon it, when they don't need it, that's what doesn't help. The Lord can do all this for you. The stuff that you guys think that you need in life to have a good time, to get you through, to do this and that. You're going to that instead of asking the Lord. There's not one time that you guys probably have been like, you know what, I want to have a good time tonight. Lord, please raise my spirits and let me have a good time. No, you want to drink them spirits, and then you want to have a good time. And then it only causes dysfunction, stupid decisions, and all that other stuff. Or you want to smoke it and to have a good time. You know, it's not... It's not worth it, friends. I've done it all. I've been there. I've done that. I've been preaching to you guys for a long time about this. It's just not worth it, friends. But anyways, I'm going to get off here. Um, the reason I do these videos right here at Planet Fitness is because their Wi-Fi is awesome. My Wi-Fi is not so good. My phone doesn't work very good at my house. It doesn't like to upload my video. So I'll come in here, get my workout while I'm working out. I'll upload my video. And then that'll be about it. So, um... I'm going to tag my son and my daughter in this. Hopefully they uh, get to watch it at their earliest convenience. I know my daughter's been going to school now and working still. Hopefully she chills out a little bit and just focuses on that schoolwork because the job can wait. She can get a better job after school. It's time. I know she will. She's smart enough. She's very intelligent enough. And she's persistent. So... Sammy, if you watch this, I miss you and I love you. Um, yeah, so. I look forward to touching base with you guys uh, whenever I get back out. Um, and let you know how it was. I can't let you know too much information. Um, but I'm excited. And I'm looking forward to what the Lord has for me. I look forward to talking to some of you guys afterwards. And please, please, please keep me in prayer. As I will keep all of you in prayer. I love you guys. Love you, bub. Glad you made it safe. Sis, keep your head up. God's got you. And uh, that's about it. I love you all. Love God, love others, love yourselves. Peace.